That right there was Tamburello, which of course was the corner which ended Edson Senna's F1 career, unfortunately, back in 1994. Now, in today's episode of Can I Be the Pole Time Retro Edition, we are trying to beat the highly requested 1994 pole lap from Edson Senna, his final one of his career, number 65. Uh, yeah, the lap time of 1 minute 21.548, I believe. I'll leave the lap time on screen. But yeah, this is the 94 version of him, also a very different layout compared to what we have nowadays. And of course, changes were put in place, including Tamburello, to basically reduce the speed through that section for the F1 cars. And yeah, putting the chicane in place since the accident, of course. The weekend known as one of the darkest weekends in Formula 1, not just for Senna's passing, but also Roland Ratzenberger the day before. So just a horrible weekend and very unfortunate and a dark day in everyone's history. But we're going to look at the positive side or, you know, I guess if you take a positive, you know, some sort of a tribute. But we're going to try and pay a tribute to Ayrton with what was an incredible pole lap, which he comfortably achieved with less laps than everybody else. And yeah, we're going to try and see if we can beat it in the Williams FW16. So let's get into it. I'll run down the specs a little bit and the context. So 1994, Senna moved to Williams and it looked really good in the early stages. A bit bumpy, but you can see the potential was there. And Williams back, you know, in this era were a very well-respected team and serious title contenders. So it made sense. Also, this was one of the uh, early V10 cars, you know, um, back in the early 90s when the V10 started to come in. And uh, this was, you know, the early stages. So the engines are still very raw. A lot of horsepower in the back of these things, but no traction control like the early 2000s cars. So very much feeling the just the raw power of these engines with nothing to kind of fight or put a filter on to keep it under control. Also, very little downforce on these things. So. It just makes for very loose and nervous cars. Right now I'm driving at, you know, 80% trying to take it easy because if I get a bit too aggressive, this thing's gonna snap like crazy. So yeah, so far, just trying to get a clean banker lap on the board, completely stop set up on this thing. So we'll eventually start to shave off some lap time and make some adjustments here and there as usual. But let's see what our first banker lap will give us as we make our way into this chicane section before we close out the lap. We're going to do this in cockpit view as well as you can tell just to kind of mix it up and add to the experience. At the final corner up to the line and it's going to be a 127.9 so we are a good six seconds plus off the pace so let's make some tweaks and let's see if we can try and dial in the setup and the car. So then we've made quite a few adjustments for this second run. We are now on the soft tyres so we should be quite a bit quicker with half the fuel and also put a quite a bit of front wing on I feel like we need it around here as uh, so there are more corners on this version I feel like compared to the current version so I wanted to stack up on wing also because this car needs it due to the lack of downfall so yeah let's get to work also brake bars towards the rear to avoid front locking if I can get the rear under control and get the power down earlier that will gain us a lot of time so here we go attempt number two Tamburello number one completely flat easy flat. Now into Villeneuve, which doesn't really exist here, it's kind of just a right, and then into Tosa, the hairpin. A bit wide. That's okay, we'll get a decent exit as a result. Up the hill then, into Piratella. I'm going to hold it in third this time, Let's see if that works. That's a lot of horsepower, man, even in low revs. Aquaminerale, chicane. Part one, bouncing over the curbs there. Come on, get the nose into the apex. There we go. Power down, fight the back end now. Now we're starting to push. Body anti alta. Second gear, flick it right and left. Easy on the exit, on the power. And now into Rivazza Uno and Dos. A little bit wide there, just about getting it stopped. Second one, carry a bit more speed, I think, through there in third gear, possibly. Chicane, got to just launch the car through the curbs. And then the final chicane. Left and the right, fight it, power down super early. Up to the line. 25-3. Wow, we are a long way off. 
two and a half second improvement, but that lap from Senna was bloody quick. Well, I'll be honest, I don't really have many more adjustments to make. I think it's just trying to mess around with the wing and finding a sweet spot, but this is it now. The car is as light as it can be, and we've got all the trimmings on uh, for me to tweak to the tyre pressures and also the brake bars again, but yeah, this is pretty much all we've got. I've also shortened the gearbox. We'll see if that makes a difference or not, but yeah, let's give it everything and let's see how fast we can really go. I feel like I want to try and get a bit closer to the limiter, which I'm nowhere near at the moment, so a shorter gearbox might help. There we go, now we're maxing out. It's more like it. Right, we're a bit early there, but we've got it on the apex at Tosa. Exit nice and clean. For a tether. Getting the nose in a bit earlier there to get the power down sooner. That was pretty nice. Aquaminerado chicane. We're going to keep it third. See if that yields any positive result. Oh, a lot of understeer though on the second part. Didn't quite work. Chicane. And third gear. Bit too much inside curve through both, and we ah lose the back end. That's a costly error. Let's try and run that back. Okay, clean the lap so far. What about the chicane? inside curve on the second part but that's okay bit of an early upshift there but we're up by eight tenths still not the sort of time we're looking for though a bit wide there lock up and <clears throat> I'm getting Singapore vibes I don't think we're gonna get this one maybe fitting okay this is a really good lap so far really smooth we'll see if we can keep it together and not make a mistake Rear locking, which is going to cost us some time again through Ravatsa. Let's just sling it through the chicane here and see what happens. Oh, a bit of grass. Going to keep it in third for the final chicane, try to carry a bit more speed. That was nice. That was a good end to the lap, besides Ravatsa. 24 1. I'm already messing with ride height camber and stuff, and this is pretty much the limit. So. I'll try and go for a sweat lap dip into the 23s, but I reckon that's the absolute maximum we're going to have in the car in this one. Good save, but big mistake. Oh. We're nowhere near, we're not going to beat it, but at least I want to try and get a 23. Ah, oh. up by two tenths. Oh, I'm starting to get a bit frustrated now. <laughs> oh, ah, oh, this car. Come on. Done. 
I'll take that. 23-8, nowhere near it, but I've been on this for so long. So many errors, and I'm just glad. I, I gave it everything, and yeah, Senna's way too quick. It's no coincidence. Lewis and Senna have gotten away from us so far in this series. Whew. Now then, we're going to run you through the setup really quickly before we wrap up. So this is the gearbox I was running, a top speed 326 kph, tyres, softs with 14 pressures all round, fuel 8 litres enough for two time laps, literally just enough, aero 1423. I tried to bring it a bit closer but the car was just so unstable, it was literally undrivable, especially with all the bumps and curbs here, I just couldn't drive it so I had to basically sacrifice some wing to keep the car stable. Alignment, I've actually gone quite aggressive on camber and toe, I'm not sure if it's right or wrong but take it as you will. Dampers default, drivetrain default, uh, generic 54 bias, also I think that's default I believe. Um, suspension, I also basically just lowered the ride height as low as possible so basically risking, you know, missing the... Um, let's say approval rate uh, this is as low as it gets pretty much before getting the uh, lap time taken away suspension default suspension here also slightly upped i believe just to have a bit better stability over curbs and yeah there's a lot guys like the video let's try smash over a thousand likes subscribe for more daily f1 content i'll leave links down below to the track and the cars so go check those out and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it as always a big shout out to the channel members for supporting me as always finally check out the two videos on screen and yeah guys i'll see you in the next one take care and it's goodbye from me.